In a previous video, we looked at cable tray on a roll. That's right, you didn't hear it incorrectly, cable tray that comes on a roll. And within that video, we used a lot of different tools, but one of them caught everyone's eye, didn't it? Yeah, it was. So Ross used a steel cable tie puller to yeah. cut and tension the cable tie to the correct tension for around the cable. And yeah, just got a lot of interest because people here couldn't get their heads around the fact that we'd use a steel tie on an electric cable. So why would we do that, Gary? We're thinking about premature collapsing of surface wiring systems. This is for the UK, isn't it? So throughout the run of a cable system that in the event of a fire would melt maybe plastic cable ties that we traditionally see holding, say, armoured cables in place. Obviously, that system would fall down to prevent that infrequently or frequently depending on how you go you can have steel fixings and that's what we had didn't we yeah and ross had a tool in there but we think we found a better one that we're going to show you today and it's closely related to a one we featured on the channel before when we looked at the same kind of tool that will cut and tension plastic cable ties now people thought we were a bit bonkers on why you'd have one of these but i'll leave a link for that uh, video uh, in as well um, we think it's a, a pretty useful tool but we think this one for steel ties is especially useful for electricians who have to deal with steel cable ties because they are a little bit more tricky to tension they are. and cut. And you do want a flush cut at the end if you can help it because if not, you end up creating what is essentially a razor blade. Yeah, because what you end up finding is electricians are trying to pull it through maybe with a pair of pliers, give it a little bit of a squeeze and then cut it off with those. And that end that you leave cut off is incredibly sharp. And it's not as tight to the cable tray or basket or whatever you're fixing it to as you're going to see here with that tension, is it? Well, we certainly hope so. But just for precaution, I have got the gloves on. We'll see at the end whether it does uh, create a sharp edge. So we're going to have a closer look, Gary. Okay, so let's bring in hand cam and we will have a closer look. Okay, so, so here's our uh, steel ties. Yep. That we typically find. And we've got our roller tray that caused so much interest in the past. So what I'm going to do is... Big difference now is we haven't obviously got any of those ridges that we'd have in a plastic cable tie, have we? So no, it's nice and smooth. all smooth. Right, so you find this incredibly difficult to do. Let's see if you can do it perfectly. On camera, it's always really good. Oh, there we go. I managed oh, oh. it. Well, yeah, you're through. Okay. So I've passed that round and I've, I've tensioned that. That won't come undone now. So but obviously could, it's loose. On okay, this. so you pulled that into that position and you couldn't now rip, say, oh, I want it somewhere else. You can't take that back out. You can't take it back out. You can tension it more. Okay. Um, but it's there. Uh, but you'll notice there the, the, the cable itself is still loose on the tray. So I'm going to bring in our cable tie tensioning and trimming tool. Okay, yeah. So again, just locate it into the side. Okay, so, and then you're going to pull that and that's going to do the tensioning. Yeah, yeah? can you see it's starting oh, yeah, the tension you there. Up. It does it a little bit more each time until it gets to the right tension, then it's going to cut it off. So here we go. One more time. Okay, brilliant. And I've tensioned it now. It's still, it's a lot tighter than it was. Okay. But it's not too tight. Okay, so how can we overcome damage that? the cable? So we have got the option on the side here to increase or decrease the tension. So we've got a low setting there yep. and a high setting at the bottom. And it's the same on the plastic one that we featured before. So yep. same, uh, same approach. Interesting part number sequential. 121609 for the plastic, 121610 for the metal version. Uh, it is a just essentially a bigger version. Um, so what I'll do now. So you're going to do a second one for us. Second one now, but I'll wind the tension right off. Let's go back down to the to the low setting. So this will put it firmer into position, yeah. This will be this should be looser actually. Yeah? So oh right, you're going the, the other way. This is the low setting. So let's just see what difference that makes. Okay. So I'll try it again. I managed it okay yeah. last time. Pressure's on you. Pressure's okay. on me. Oh, look, oh, you don't always okay. do that first time either, do you? No. It's no, okay. Oh. So okay. put, pull it into position. So what ends up happening now, electricians tend to try and pull that with a pair of pliers and then cut it off, don't they? Yeah, and, and try to get right flush up to the end of this tricky, so. Yeah, so you okay. can see that, so that is see. now. Yeah. Looser than the version before. So that one's as tight as it goes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. there's still, I mean, there's still movement in there. You never get them, seem to get them as tight as a plastic tie because they've got that ratchet mechanism. So I'll try, we've done big cable. Let's try it on a smaller, a cable. So this is steel wide armoured. So if you, um, so yeah. So underneath that outer jacket is a is a, is a sort of solid band of uh, steel steel strands. This is a high tough type cable or an NYY equivalent. So no armouring in there. So we're straight into PVC. Yeah. Yeah. So again, just pull it through, but narrower diameter. Okay. So pull that hand tight. Are you leaving the tension where it is, or are you going to make some adjustments? I'll try it then. Try the other way and see what happens. 
So this is on the loosest it can be, is it? Yeah. So you see that's quite that's still quite loose, so I'll go back the other way. So tighten that one up. Remember that there'll be other fixings within it, maybe those PVC cable toys. And obviously with looking at these steel ones, obviously in the event of a fire, not to melt and hold it into position. It doesn't necessarily have to be absolutely tight to the surface. That's not the idea. It's to prevent no, yeah, premature probably, collapsing. Yeah. Obviously, I know people are gonna ask next, will this one do plastic ties? Uh, probably not, because it's only specced for, they tend to be a bit thicker than the steel ones. Okay, so in you go again. Can I do it again? Can you do it again? No. No, this is more like it. We're used to seeing this. Yeah. Ah, no, well, still not bad. So pull that one through. And we're going to just tighten that one up and you hold the tension. Yeah, so again, so, bring it into the side. And uh, give it a little pull. Oh, yeah, you can tell, can't you? That's pulling. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see that is a lot tighter on the cable itself. Yeah, that's not moving anywhere. So it's, uh, well, you promised me at the start that I might see a little bit of claret. So I think the red gloves come off and see if we can see some red stuff coming out of your hands. So you're going to run your fingers across that. See how smooth it is? Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Well, you're pressing quite hard there, yeah, isn't it? I'm pressing really hard. I'll press so hard. I can get an impression of the tie in the end. But no claret. But no claret. So I think, for me, this is I think that's a, a, a winning tool. Yeah, we've used it a lot here at the studios, haven't we? So all around us, okay, we've been using it. We've done a short formatted video as well, haven't we, where we just show how incredibly easy it is to use. Yeah, so I mentioned the part number, just double check the box. So it is also known as the Unifox CTM79. You do remember these part numbers and names really well. I struggle with them at times, but yeah, you're really, oh, you've got yeah, the box. Yeah, I've got the box and it's, uh, yeah, so M for metal, for metal cable ties, seven comma nine it's doesn't it so 7.9 millimeter diameter maximum on the tie and 0.3 uh, millimeter thickness and this is the i think if i remember rightly this is the unifox p plastic 4.8 and i can't remember the thickness but if you check out the video we made on that one more tool before we go gary we're gonna go so i see them down there little, yep. uh, yeah nips a little so nipex just, uh, nips yeah so these are the nipex uh, super nips so obviously uh, when you've made a mistake, as we all do, sometimes you need to remove uh, a steel tie. We have made a separate review on these super nips, and we got the version that'll cut our steel up to 1.4 millimeter diameter, and it's a great tool for removing steel ties. So, yeah, cool. that. yeah that's incredibly easy, isn't it? Yeah, well, I can uh, obviously go in there. I might need to go in. And we think as more and more wiring systems will have uh, steel cable tires holding them in position. This is the sort of tool you're going to need when you're maybe taking out circuits, isn't yeah. it? So again, we think another uh, toolbox essential. You can also use it for trimming cable tires as well because it is a flush cutter on this side. But check out the video we made on that. So some, uh, yeah, we think that's another useful toolbox essential. And I think, yeah, if you're, if you're doing... Uh, if you're doing uh, steel ties, I think this, for me, this is a winner. Uh, if you think you've got a better version, drop a comment below.